Today we are going to be implementing the panel dynamic OLS, a panel fully modified OLS, and the panel canonical correlation regression method. These three estimation techniques are long-run estimators for first generation. It's a, it's a first generation panel uh, procedure, and it is mostly employed to examine long-run relationships when in the absence of cross-sectional dependence. And the command is is the xt coint reg. The xt coint reg. You should also uh, know that these estimators they are mostly implemented when our variables are I1 stationary, and there's cointegration. That's after you've accounted for I1 stationary and you've tested for cointegration and there's cointegration, then you can use uh, the panel dynamic OLS and the panel fully modified OLS to to estimate your long run uh, relationship and it should you should also know that the panel dynamic OLS and the panel fully modified OLS uh, they are robust uh, to serial correlation and endogeneity problem. So as I said, the command is the XT coins reg. In this video, I will be estimating the impact of GDP and renewable energy on the on co2 emissions so i'll be using the log of co2 emissions uh, the log of gdp and renewable energy then i put a comma and i and i type est which is the estimator so in the bracket you're going to be choosing which estimator you're going to be using so for we'll start with the dynamic ols the dols now this is the result the beta value here is the the beta value is the coefficient. Why the t statistics? Of course, it is the t statistics. Now, this estimation technique or the procedure does not does not uh, provide for probability values. So we should know that for you could use a t statistics to know which variable is significant and which variable is not significant. Any any variable that has a t statistics greater than two. Any variable that has a t statistics greater than two is said to be uh, significant for at least ten percent. Any variable is greater than two is said to be significant. So this is basically how to estimate your dynamic OLS. You could also come here to change and estimate your fully modified OLS. Okay, you could still see we were, our results are quite similar in terms of the beta value, that is the coefficient, and you could also see it is significant because the t statistics are are greater than two so you could also here you could come and also estimate your canonical regr uh, correlation regression your ccr so very similar the uh, fully modified OLS and the ccr estimation techniques are quite similar in coefficients and and even in t statistics so you could see in this for this uh regression analysis we could see that the gdp has a positive or significant effect on CO2 emissions in the long run and uh, renewable energy have a negative and significant effect on CO2 emissions in the long run. Now, if for instance, yeah, we have a slope heterogeneity, we've tested for slope heterogeneity and we have seen that our slope is heterogeneous. By the way, you could use the XTHST command to test for slope heterogeneity. So let us assume that our slopes are heterogeneous. It means we have to estimate for the individual countries you have to estimate long run for the individual countries. And to do this, you you simply click on you simply type full in the command for our dynamic OLS, for our fully modified OLS, or for our, or for our uh, canonical correlation regression. You click full, and you will see that for each of the countries in our observation, we could see the T statistics and the beta value the t statistics and even the standard errors so anyway you see one two three four five it's it's the countries that are in the model so this is how to estimate for this model we have 31 countries so across the 31 countries you could see how how the, the log of gdp and renewable energy influences the log of co2 emissions you could also do this for you could also do this for the fully modified ols Okay, similar, and you could still do this for 
the canonical correlation regression. So these largely they all they would as long as there is slope heterogeneity, we are going to, we should always estimate use the full option as long as there is slope heterogeneity. We should always use the slope the full option to estimate the for the individual countries in the panel data sets.